Hey guys, welcome to my new video. In this video, I will show how to rig and character animation with Duik Angela in After Effects. Let's get started. So guys, first one, select this background layer and look here. Let's select this hand layer to go to solo and zoom to here and go to puppet pin tool. Let's add one puppet here and one here and one here. Let's click session two and let's select this hand one. Also go to solo and select puppet pin tool. Let's add one puppet here, one here and one here. Click session two. So in this time, let's unsolo this hand one, select hand two and go to FX control, select puppet and go to window, open Duik Angela. And right now, let's select this puppet here and go to click this icon and go to add pins. Let's click here. OK, we have three pins. Let's select pin three. Let's see. OK, and select this pin three. Let's link to pin two. Select pin two, link to pin one and select this pin one. Let's link to body and select these three pins. Go to Duke again, click Auto Rig. Okay, that's all. Select this controller, let's see. Nice, very good. So let's unsolo all these layers and pins. And right now we can make animation with this controller. And then select this hand one. Go to solo and select puppet. Let's go to again add pins. And select this pin 3, link to pin 2, select pin 2, link to pin 1, and select pin 1, let's link to body. And select these 3 pins, go to do it, click auto rig. Okay, so let's unsolo these layers and let's see how it works. Select new controller. Okay, very nice, I like it. So in this time, let's select this body and go to pen behind. Move the anchor point down. Clusation tool, press R, open rotation. Let's change rotation. Okay, nice. And select this foot one and foot two. Let's move to up. And lock layers. Select body, press R again. Okay, that's good. And right now, select this cap layer. Let's link to controller, select controller, change name, left hand, and select this controller, right hand. Okay, so let's select these two controllers, go to color, change to red. And select this cap. Let's go to pen behind, move the anchor point here, Clusation tool. And select this finger one, link to left hand. And select this finger two, let's link to controller hand right. Let's zoom to here. Okay, not bad. And let's zoom to left hand controller. Okay, very nice. I like it. Also, we can change rotation. Let's press R, change rotation like this. Okay, that's good. So in this time, let's go to here, go two seconds and select the left hand and press P, hold shift, press R, open rotation and make new passing keyframe, new rotation keyframes. Go to first second and let's select control R. Let's move to left and change rotation. Chain like this and select keyframes, make easies or click F9. Let's see. Okay, select these keyframes, move to left for more fast animation. Okay, not bad. And let's go to middle. Let's make new passing keyframe for move to up. Nice, I like it. And go to graph editor. Let's select this graph. Move to right and last keyframe, move to left. 
Okay, that's good. Back to two frames and go to some two frames. Make new person two frame and select this cap. And right now, go to edit and split layer or control shift D. Select cap two. Let's unlink. Go to here, select none. And we have new two frame here. Let's go to five two frames and let's move to down hand without cap let's see okay we have problem with two frames let's select these two two frames we have here a problem let's right mouse go to two frame interpolation and change current settings to linear click ok let's say again okay we will fix it let's see nice so in this time let's select this i white layer link to body select this i black also link to body and select this i white layer ctrl d for duplicate select i black move the inside two white layers and click toggle switch mode go to none and select alpha matte i white 2. so right now i can move i black inside i white layers like this this is for i blink so select this i white two layer link to i white layer and select i white layer press s click this second and let's make scale two frames make new two frame here and go to three two frames one two three for go to frame by frame two frames you can press page down in keyboard and let's change scale five Go to three two frames again with page down in keyboard one two three, change one hundred, select two frames make easies, and let's see. Nice. So select two frames, move to left. Okay, nice, and select body. Let's press R, open rotation, and go to here, make new rotation two frame, and go to five two frames. And let's change rotation 3 or 4 and select first two frame change minus 3 select two frames make easy let's see okay nice and let's add bones select body hold shift press p make new person two frame go to middle and move to down for bones animation go to next two frame Select first two frame, copy pass. Select two frames, make easy. Let's see. Nice. Select two frames. Let's hold Alt, move to left, and move to right these two frames. Let's see again. Nice. And select this hand controller. Let's go to first second. Press P. Move right. And make new person in keyframe. Go to here. Let's move to right. Okay. And go to middle. Move to up. Select two frames. Make easies. Okay. Let's zoom to here. And go to some two frames. Move to left. I want to random two frames and go to here move to back and move to down and go to some two frames again say first two frame copy pass let's move to down a little bit like this nice select last two frame move to right okay that's good and right now let's select this i black and Let's press P, make new person two frame, go to two two frames, one, two, let's move to up. Select two frames, move to here, let's see. Nice, and go to here, make new person two frame, go to two two frames, move to down. And select these three scale two frames for I white, let's copy and go to here, control V. Let's move to a little bit. Nice, not bad.
So guys, thank you for watching my video and don't forget to subscribe channel, like video and please follow me on Instagram. Good luck.